Hi folks, I'm Dane Harden with Western Masters Martial Arts here in Abingdon, Virginia. Um, tonight we're going to expand on our lessons on symbology, so this would be lesson number two in this uh, sequence. And uh, symbology is something that you classically saw in Aikido. Well, Sensei often talked about three diagrams. So those three diagrams are the circle, the square, and the triangle. So each one of these things can symbolize different aspects of martial arts. The triangle itself symbolized focus. The square symbolizes this idea of stability. And the circle was this idea of flow or fluidity. And we're going to focus on the circle this evening. When we talk about circular movement in Aikido, it relates to how Aikido effectively works. It's a joint collection where we're taking multiple joints and locking those joints in different positions, and we do it in a circular fashion. The circle in Japanese is called maru, maru. So the term, M-E-R-U, maru means circle. The idea of utilizing the circle in order to destabilize someone or take their balance, we refer to as kata. Kata meru. Kata, a lot of you will see that and recognize that as form or pattern, like you would do um, a kata in uh, karate or taekwondo or hyung. But in this sense, kata means the perfect way. The perfect way to destabilize and the perfect way to take someone's balance. And in Aiki, specifically uh, joint locking arts, we try to do it in a circular fashion. You would often see O-sensei talk about kata meru, which was the point where balance is lost. And he emphasizes this by adding a circle with a small dot in the center of that circle. The small dot is meant to be your tenden, your center. So when you have your center, meaning your hips and shoulders are underneath of you, you generate true power. There are different types of power. Of course, all power, for the most part, is going to be generated from hip movement and from your ability to have a stable position. Getting back to the square, which will be a different lesson. But tonight's lesson is the idea of kata meru, the ability to take balance. If you have your center always in the center of your circular point, you will always be in balance. When you are out of balance is when your center point moves to any of these four locations where you're shifting one way, shifting another way, changing a leading center, changing your weight displacement. And when you do those sorts of things, you lose your balance, your kata meru, and you can easily be stabilized or thrown. So tonight's lesson is about the circle, about flow, about balance, understanding your tendon, and kata meru, the point where balance is lost. I'm Dane Harden with Western Masters Martial Arts. This is lesson number two on symbology in Aikido. I hope you found it fun and interesting. Thank you so much.